What's up guys? How are you guys doing today? It's your boy Lalo here once again and I'm gonna start a new uh, I'm gonna start a new series. It's gonna be a uh, gear reviews. Um, you know I have so much gear that I go through and I really want to start um, you know telling you guys my opinion in regards to like what I think of it, the durability, um, the smoothness of the gear and you know just my opinion on what I think of it. So yeah for today's video we're gonna we're gonna do the review on the on the Fluger Supreme XT. Uh, this is something that I normally don't see a lot of people running. Um, you know, Fluger is, I mean, definitely not one of the, you know, high price point reels that you can get, whether it's spinning, whether it's uh, casting, you know, but in my opinion, this reel, it's one of the better reels that I've, that I've come to get, at least for the price range that this goes for. I think this retails for like 150, you can pick these up for like 120, uh, maybe a hundred bucks if you get it like on sale or something like that. And you know, in regards to these reels, I was running two. I have this one that I still run now. I throw all my super light stuff on it, uh, like my drop shots, my shaky head, stuff like that. And and yeah, I mean, these have been great reels for me. Uh, I have no complaints. I like how light these are in regards to, you know, like other spinning reels you know i have this one that i've been using as well i've been trying to do some testing on this one which is a dio tatula spinning reel and i also have the shimano stratic no wait i have the shimano yeah the shimano stratic the 2500 and this one is a pretty good um a pretty good amount heavier than this one i mean but you can't really compare these just because the price range is different and also this is i mean you can do a lot more like offshore fishing you know for light light tackle fishing with this one and this one's not really meant for salt water i'm pretty sure these will these really have no uh no seals or anything like that that are really gonna combat that salt water like the shimanos do and quite honestly this is probably one of the one of the best reels i've had so far um obviously before the before the stratic because the stratic um that's probably my top reel for now but that's for another video anyways yeah i mean this is it's pretty much it the drag sensitivity is really really good on this reel as well um and yeah, no complaints. I haven't done any maintenance on this, nor this one. And I haven't had any issues at all with it, you know, feeling out grimy and stuff like some reels tend to feel after you don't clean them and they get like debris and stuff in them. And yeah, I mean, like I said, this is a super light reel. I have to put in the description, um, you know, the weight and everything on this. Or you can probably look it up if you were really interested in this. But yeah, I mean, I, I really do enjoy this reel. Like I said, I think if this reel was um, something you would pick up for for about 100 bucks, I feel like this is definitely a no-brainer. I think this would, be, this would be a great reel for 100 bucks. I think any more than 100 bucks, you have plenty of other options to look at. But... I, I like this reel a lot. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions in regards to, you know, what pound test I run on this, um, depending on what I throw, uh, you can throw heavier stuff on this, but this is just how I run mine. And I have it on a St. Croix medium rod. I, I wanted a medium light or like a something a lot lighter with more flex but i just don't want to spend the money so i'm just running it on this one and it's a xpc rod so yeah i like this reel a lot let me know if you guys have any questions or let me know what you guys want to see next i do have um a lot more gear that i'm trying to get some videos out like i said i want to make this a series i know i haven't been posting uh any fishing videos um during the last two weeks it's just been i've been working a lot and 
you know, weekends, I've been having to either work or I've been having other things come up and I just can't make it out there. But I'm hoping maybe next week I'll get back into rhythm and start, uh, you know, start filming more videos and get some content out there for you guys. Also, uh, for all the kayak guys out here in North Georgia, um, I will be doing a couple kayak videos coming up soon. I also have to put the square hatch on my Hobie. So yeah, now you guys know what kayak I have. If you guys wanna see any more content or any more videos like this, let me know what you guys wanna see. I have plenty of reels um, and plenty of rods and plenty of tackle. Thank you guys so much. Be safe, feel free to like and subscribe.